Uh, sometimes I begin my personal time of prayer and devotion by reflecting on the mind-boggling size of the universe, uh, that our own little galaxy has 100,000 million stars, that there are 100,000 million more galaxies, each with 100,000 million stars, that our galaxy and each of those galaxies is 100 light years across, and that there are 3 million light years between each of those galaxies. Absolutely phenomenal and mind-boggling and amazing. The opening line of the Old Testament, Genesis 1-1, says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now when it just opposes two words, heavens and earth, two opposites, it means that He created everything. So you can really read that. In the beginning God created the cosmos. And then He said it was good, but He even said more than that. He said it was very good. Now. When we come to the New Testament and the fuller revelation of Jesus Christ, we learn that the cosmos is created by Christ Himself. So the opening line of the Gospel of John says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh, he was in the beginning with God, and uh, without Him was not anything made that was made. And so what we have there is the cosmic Christ, the creator of all things. In fact, indeed the Apostle Paul brings both together in 1 Corinthians 8, 6, when he says, our existence is due to the one uh, God and Father and the one Lord, Jesus Christ. All our existence depends on them. And then you come to that uh, incredible lyrical song in Colossians 1, 16 and 17, which reads like this, speaking of Jesus, For by Him all things were created in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. And I've often thought that if I uh, could commandeer uh, the Enterprise from Star Trek, and I could travel out through our galaxy and across the Milky Way and then kick it into warp speed 8 so the galaxies would fly by like fence posts and finally come to the very backwater of the universe, make a right turn and find a piece of stellar dust, it would have been created by Christ and sustained by Christ. Everything is made by Christ. The fires of Arcturus, the fires that light a firefly, all textures, all shape, things in heaven, things on earth, things under the earth, things under the sea, everything is created and sustained by Him. And that means that as He's the creator of all things, it's under His loving, benevolent care. And uh, what we need to keep in mind is that as the apex of His creation made in the image of God, Genesis 1, bearing the image of God, the Imago Dei, as regenerate people we have the image of Christ, which means that we can rest in His goodness and His great creation power as He controls all of life and to flourish under Him.